far from his small rural town in western Michigan. This Marine is the training NCO in Guam, taking this Leatherneck off the battlefield and into a new environment. I'm an infantryman by trait, so to be here in a situation like this, I am definitely outside of my normal day-to-day -day tasks. This six-year veteran has a laundry list of additional duties, like facility manager. Currently, I'm in charge of the gym and three other buildings. Sergeant Butterfield has temporarily traded his rifle and battle rattle for a larger responsibility. Just basically try and be a jack of all trades as you develop yourselves, because that's the best way to be a leader. The 25-year-old husband and father of two brings a positive attitude that's getting noticed by fellow Marines. Some of the Marines here, they work hard, they do their job, and then they go home. Sergeant Butterfield looks for that extra uh, something to better himself and better those around him. Butterfield was given a new challenge. He attended the Air Force Airman Leadership School at Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, last October where his gung-ho spirit set him apart. He performed outstanding. He always led from the front. Uh, he was never the last person to do something. He, he always made sure that his work was done beforehand. He was apt to help other people and make sure that they had the things that they needed. So he was outstanding for what we look for in a leader. He earned third place in the Murph Physical Challenge during the course and received the Commandant's Leadership Award. That just goes again to show to his character. This Marine is striving to be the best he can be while maximizing his potential here in Guam. It's a learning experience, but I'm excited to keep pushing, keep taking on more and more responsibilities and expanding uh, my capabilities. Reporting from Anderson Air Force Base, Guam, I'm Technical Sergeant Brian McGee. There you go.